Hello, you're watching Cody's Junction. In today's video, we are going to be, I'm going to be weathering some GY wagons and some covered GY wagons. And I'm just going to be using a dark brown paint. Um, any dark brown paint works. And yeah, let's get started. So I've done this in the past here, where I've just been weathering this truck recently and as you can see it's weathered in detail and I just use a sponge and I just dipped the sponge in some paint and lightly went around like this over it and I think that works really well it gives it a good effect and in places where it's where you think it might be too thick or you don't you're not happy with it you can simply get a q-tip and some turpentine and just rub it off now here, I'm, I'm just going for the dirt effect for weathering and as you can see lower down it's a bit thicker from dirt that splatters up and then up top it's lighter. And the trick for that is to use it up at the bottom and then when you've got just a little bit left you can light, very lightly dab it on the top to give it that more dirt effect. Also if you choose you can uh, do this really lightly on the top as well and um, I think it adds another level of, of weathering and depth and detail to this so try that all right so i've got my sponge and what you should do is you can dip it in the paint and if you do it now it'll be too thick so so what i do is i just dab it on the paper a few times until i think it looks good and then i just dab it lightly at the bottom and yeah, just repeat this dabbing lightly so and you can do as much as you like but just do it lightly now sometimes your paint may run out and that's what happened here so I'm just gonna quickly refresh that And now if you like, you can grab just a Q-tip and some turpentine and just rub bits like that off if you think it's too thick. But it really doesn't matter. But I think it, you don't want it to look too thick. But it, And then the turpentine can give it an, an alright looking effect. So just rubbing it off like that. There, yeah, that looks a bit better. And now the only thing left to do is leave it to dry. And thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to do next, if you want me to do some more weathering or what. So thanks for watching, bye for now.